emotion makes a great story. You know, you have to be able to relate to a story and, and feel it. Um, I think that the greatest stories, documentary stories that have been told, um, also feel like narrative in a way. They have that excitement um, and, and it doesn't necessarily feel like what you think a documentary is. Um, yeah, but you have to be able to relate to the character no matter what, no matter if you hate them or love them. Um, you have to be able to relate to it in, in some way. But at the end of the day, you know, I always go by my gut um, instinct and the emotion of it, not necessarily tears, um, but, but feeling the story in, in your gut uh, is the most important thing, I think. In terms of films that I've seen, you know, there, there are two films that resonate with me, and that's The Summit um, and also Citizen Four. And The Summit in particular because it was told like a thriller. And, and that was the intent, you know, listening to the director and the, and the writer talking about it and, and all the processes that they went through in order to make it feel that way. You know, you're watching a film and an hour and a half, two hours goes by like that, you know? I think, I think that people used to think that documentaries were boring, um, you know, talking heads. But, but I think there's really been a shift in, in the way people are telling stories. And, and Citizen Four um, is another story that I love. Um, Laura Poitras, I think I'm saying her name right, is incredible because she you know, most of it was filmed in one room, in a hotel room, but you could, like, the drama was palpable. You could feel it. And, and that is just capturing those moments and, and knowing when to sit on a moment and just let the audience be there, and feeling like they're in the room. Those, those to me, are the, the best types of stories. Uh, I would love to tell the story of Alexander McQueen or John Galliano, these incredible, I mean, it's such a different time in fashion, uh, the glamour and the excess. Um, you know, there's some bigger stories, not necessarily about fashion. I feel like I can, um, I can tell any story, but, but I do really enjoy fashion films, so. I have an idea for a larger uh, film story, but I'm gonna hold that one close for now.